everyone and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we're going to be going into an old project. Uh, we're actually going back into the Resident Evil files. Um, a few people have been asking uh, for a couple of things to be shown off. Um, and I didn't think I'd ever do it, but I'm here. I, I thought, why not? Um, one person has asked to show how to rotate these cameras to face the player's location. Uh, relatively easy thing to do, um, so I'm quite happy to show off how to do this. Um, you'll see in a minute um, how I set this up. So let's click play. Um, you'll see we've still got the the original VHS kind of shader. Now if I walk into this section, this camera follows me. And it also has a little bit of a delay, um, which I thought was very nice little touch for that kind of 90s uh CCTV camera kind of feel because if you remember those cameras back in the day were not fast they're also very loud uh, maybe we can add sound into this one day um, and you'll notice if I go up it stops again uh, so this will also show you how to make it that you can pick and choose which cameras actually follow the player too so these ones up here these are the uh, the tutorial ones we did last time um, and this is the ones that I made uh, so we're going to now convert these ones up here to do the same thing. So open up the, the, the camera uh, switch code that you have. Uh, you'll notice that we still have just what we did last time down here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab an event tick to begin with. And we also need to create a boolean. Uh, mine's called camera active. And I've set it to instance editable and expose on spawn, both to true. And what this will do is that if you go back into the main uh, viewport and you click on one of these camera switches, you can see that I have a camera active and the one that is moving is set to true and the one that is not moving is set to false, I believe. Yeah, it's set to false. Um, so we have an event tick. Now we need to do one thing uh, on this that... Um, will allow otherwise it'll error out basically if we don't do it and that is a cast to the third person character because what's happening is is although we are casting for this overlap what will happen is is this will only ever run once whereas this is constantly running trying to update where this third person character is so we need the cast just to keep that information up to date otherwise the cameras just will error out and you'll get a load of errors come through so let's get the player character for the um the object and the next thing we need is a branch check. And this branch check is, you probably guessed it, the camera active. And what this is doing is every tick, it's checking to say, okay, is this camera that he is currently in active? And if it is, we're going to set the rotation of it. If it's not, we're going to do nothing. This can be quite costly. So don't be surprised if, um, you know, it, it's not, uh, if it's costing you a little bit of, um, kind of performance but for a game that you're making like a Resident Evil game you shouldn't have too much of an issue with things like that uh, you could do a second check to say in here is this active are you, are you in the bounds but the problem you'll find is that if you leave the bounds but you're still you still want that camera to be active it will stop following the player um, so you if you want to go that option you need to make sure that your bounds are perfect and they can always be seen with the player so the next thing we're going to do, now we've got our third person character reference set up, we're going to get the third person character. We also need to get our active camera variable we made last time. From the active camera variable, we need to set uh, world rotation like so. Um, and then we plug that into the true. Now that's half the battle. But what we do need is we need to get a couple of things. So we need to get uh, actor, no, get world location. There we go. And we also need from the third person character, get actor location. And using these two values, we're going to um, find look at rotation. And then plug that in. Now, as this is currently, this will work if you plug this into this new rotation here this will work and I will show you it working at the top here I've already clicked on this one to be true because I tested it and this one to be false so this should work when we step into it so let's press play 
but you'll see the problem when we walk in there. I mean, it might not be a problem for everyone, depending on what kind of effect you're wanting, um, but you'll see it, it pretty much follows the player stroke for stroke. Um, it is literally the fastest CCTV camera I've ever seen in my life. Um, whereas this one you can see has a huge delay. So it all depends on the effect you want, but I'll show you how to get the effect with the delay. So we now need to get a R interp two. Now plug that into your new rotation and get the find look at rotation and plug that into the target. From the camera component, we want to get world rotation, and that goes into the current. Now, what's happening here is we're saying, okay, this is the actor's, the ca active camera's current world location, and we're getting the third-person characters. Uh, we're working out the distance between the two, and we're saying, okay, this is where you are now. This is where you need to be set move this to here basically it, it's kind of like we're basically saying move here to from here to here to here so point a to point b um but we want you to move this fast okay x y and z we want to move you this fast so the first thing we want to do is we want to get world delta second so this is kind of um getting you the uh, amount of seconds uh in the world uh what's ticking by basically every tick and we're going to say, okay, we want you to move from here to here, from A to B, in this amount of time. So the lower this number, the slower it will go. So it's kind of like, uh, it, it's sort of the reverse of a delay, if you will. Um, so if you have a second, it's going to be very slow. You're going to get a delay. If you have it at 20, I think that's how it's running currently. So the wet, what you just saw previously... That's how fast it's running uh, normally. It's running at an interp speed of about 20. If I set it to 5 for this one, you'll see the difference. 5 is still pretty fast. Uh, it's got a, a very slight delay, but nothing too crazy. 1 is the kind of 90s style CCTV uh, you're, you're getting when I walk into here, you'll see. So this is set to a 1 interp speed. And you can see if I run... It's really behind. It does take a couple of seconds. If I stop, you can see that noticeable delay for it to catch up to where the actual player's um, location is. Whereas if I walk into here and I walk down, you can see it's still pretty much keeping up. There's a very, very small delay. You'll see it's a very small delay. But it is it, it is a lot better than how it was originally. But the one, I think the one is the sweet spot in my opinion. You could go slower if you really wanted to. So if I go into my original code and I say, okay, uh, let's go 0 0.2. You're going to see a huge difference now. Um, here we go. And oh my days, look how slow it's going. <laughs> it's just it's just not even keeping, oh my days, that's not great. So I think one is the sweet spot in my opinion. Um five is not bad but that's going to be more of your modern sort of cctv cameras the ones that can kind of keep up a little bit better um like movement wise um but that's all down to personal preference if you're gonna go for the delay that's up to you what you you set yours at hopefully you found this useful though um as i say it's it's very simple you can do this for a lot of things so you can have like a character in a window that follows the player uh, wherever it walks to give a very creepy like you're being watched by a person kind of feel you can set up for all sorts of things um, so yeah hopefully this has been helpful in sort of creating a very creepy feel for your horror uh, horror game um, thank you guys for watching if you found this useful hit that subscribe button and uh, i will see you in the next episode thank you so much take care bye